First tonight at 11, an Army veteran visiting Jack's Beach with his family says he stepped on a used syringe in their hotel room. And so now he says he's facing a long road ahead with some pricey medical bills and tests. Shelby Danielson is live with this exclusive story all new at 11. Shelby? Well, Heather and Anthony, this military family came out here to the first coast to enjoy our beaches, but they say about 30 minutes after they checked into their hotel room here, everything changed. They had to put their lives and their vacation, of course, on hold. I mean, this is just for 27 days worth. James Riles is bringing home a costly souvenir, two prescriptions, each costing more than two grand. I definitely don't have $4,500 to go front for the medicine. Medicine he was supposed to start taking on Wednesday following an unexpected visit to the ER. Army veteran spent several years in Iraq. He says that experience helped keep him grounded this week, starting when he checked into this hotel with his wife and daughter Monday night. My right foot went underneath the bed skirt and I felt something sharp. So I pulled my foot back to notice a needle lodged in the end of my big toe, but still appeared to have something in it. A moment later, he says he pulled that needle out. I looked underneath the bed uh, figure out what was going on where I found a second needle. He says his wife immediately called 911. EMTs and police arrived minutes later. He declined to be transported at first, but later went to the hospital to get checked out. And he says he quickly discovered he was in for a year of testing at least, as it takes that long to confirm whether or not he contracted any diseases like HIV. Of course, there are certain parts of your life that have to go on hold during that time as well. You know, there's abstinence and things of that nature that normally wouldn't be existing in a marriage. Before returning to their home in Colorado Springs, Riles hired a team of attorneys from the law offices of John Phillips. Our primary focus is right now making sure he gets the funds that he needs to get the medication that he needs to prevent this from becoming an even worse situation. Attorney Kirby Johnson says they're waiting to hear from the hotel's insurance company. Even if the tests are negative, he still has this treatment that he needs to go through. Hotel management says they're conducting an internal investigation. They say they've received a certificate of excellence from TripAdvisor and that they're ranked number one at the beach. They also sent us a statement saying, quote, the safety and security of our guests is our top priority. Our history of excellence in guest security and safety is a top priority with our team. Guest safety is our top priority. And Jack's Beach Police was also here investigating. They say that they found a bag full of white powder outside of the room here. They said they're unsure if that's related at this point, and they can't say what those substances are made of just yet. They're actually in a secure building right now, and until Riles requests what those substances are, they won't be tested, and they may later be destroyed. Live at Jacksonville Beach, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.